Hello guys, what's up? Kya chali chali bhi bhi jabal sakka sinda bad. How are you all? How are you all doing? I'm great, all right. Doing fantastic. And I am at home today, doing nothing. And I have duty to go. I don't have any shift today, so I'm heading toward grocery store to buy something, all right. And how are you all, guys? How are you all doing? And I'm not, you know, shooting the video from past two or three days. All right, I have been so busy and a bit tired as well from work because it's been years. I'm not working physically, so now I'm working physically. So because of that, I was a bit tired. Uh, from past few days and yesterday I was at home today I was at uh, I am at home yesterday I had a plan to go downtown to travel and take you all guys over there but yesterday was you know the raining whole day today also it's raining so from uh, from last three days you may be able to say from three night from two days it's continuously raining and raining it's continuously raining guys and uh, I don't know what is happening here in Canada guys so it's raining raining now it's a bit quite low but I don't know there will be big rain or what and what's up guys what's up what's up there is a cat guy if you see it's a big cat and i am a cat lover i like cats all right i like dogs i like all the animals so What is happening here in Canada guys? What is happening? It's hard to get the job man. It's so sad. We get the job, that's fine. But it's sad to hear that some of our friend who came with us, some of the friend who came here in last September, uh, this January, is still being able to get the job. They are still struggling. So they are still unemployed so what is happening here in canada guys the canadian government are still just increasing the tax they are increasing the whole tax carbon tax goes up to 23 percent they, they increase 24 23 percent carbon tax they are increasing all the tax but they are not increasing the opportunity all right the government is not working on to uh, increase the opportunities they are just increasing the tax we are also paying heavy taxes over here we are paying taxes in each and everything but concerning concerning to the the, the work concerning to the opportunity they are not doing anything for for, for to you know uh, <laughs> for, to increase the opportunity, they have to do something to increase the opportunity or, as well. No? So, just focusing on increasing the tax doesn't gonna, we're not gonna work. So we have to invest on something which is gonna, you know, help to increase the opportunity as well. They have to spend to increase the opportunity as well. People are, you know, suffering too much over here. Uh, the Canadian as well, they are not getting the job. There is no opportunity. There is too many people, small opportunity. Maybe from years, the government and the, all the sector are not focusing on, you know, each and everything. They are fo focusing on only particular, some, some in some specific, uh, you know, sectors. That's the reason maybe 
the development and the growth was you know uh, not not happening simultaneously it's just they are just focusing on you know real estate or they are focusing on i don't know uh, such kind of particular things which grow overnight but they are not focusing on other sector so it's it's it's, it's difficult to difficult for those people to get the job you know so they have to focus on each and everything this is hard New Year guys, happy new year to all. Keep living. So, so I have raised no frails, so I'll buy something and then I'll back to home. Canada is struggling guys, Canada is struggling. Canadian are struggling means Canada is struggling guys. And the government is not focusing on to develop a infrastructure uh, for to you know grow the opportunities they are only focusing on themselves they are maybe only focusing to sustain their government or fill their pockets i don't know but from five to from three to five years Nothing has been, you know, developed over here and the businesses, the small businesses and the uh, work opportunities uh, are same as, as same as five years ago. There is no increment, all right, only the population of Canada it's growing day by day it's increase day by day all right it's increasing day by day but the opportunities are not increasing they are not focusing on to uh, increase the opportunities that's a problem that's a real problem over here all right so this is the no frail and it's all expensive you know life is too expensive over here in canada especially here in Toronto. Toronto is became now became one of the most expensive city. It's expensive than LA, California or, or or I don't know Hawaii or expensive than any of the American cities. And it's hard hard time so we all are struggling and you know the problem is the price of the living is too high can't afford you know the normal people who are earning a bit amount will be not enough will be not enough for them you know so they have to work uh, work too hard and they have to you know work in two places or three places to sustain their life here in Canada really really difficult and the prices of the food the transportation, the internet, the mortgages, all the bank interest, they are skyrocketing. They are just skyrocketing, rocketing, guys. It's really hard to maintain. All right. The vegetable prices are skyrocketing as well. It's too much. And, you know, earning $2,000 per month is not enough to sustain a one two person family over here right you need to earn more than five thousand dollars to sustain five person family over here in canada guys otherwise no not at all it would be really really difficult 
All right. It would be really, really difficult. You need to earn more. So I've done my stopping and most of the time I used to to here in no frills, all right? And it's a bit convenient for me. And it was not that much of expensive than other any other convenient store, all right? So life is expensive. Right? Really, really expensive here in Canada, especially here in Toronto. It's hard, seriously hard, all right. It's really expensive. So it's getting difficult, guys. It's getting difficult for every one of us. And and our leaders should focus on the growth of the opportunity as well. You know, population is growing day by day. It's not like before. And our population is increasing. Means our, you know, opportunity should increase. No, they have to boost the the businesses as well. They have to help uh, those b small businesses, which is creating the opportunity. They have to you know focus on the new startups they have to focus on new entrepreneurs who are struggling to settle the business over here in canada right and they have to give some allowances for those new businesses they have to cut some taxes to help those small businesses to grow all right when they grow our opportunity will grow the people will get the job all right and here they are not getting anything from the government the people the small business owners i have talked with almost more than 500 small businesses owners and they are saying like the government are not looking after them at all they are just focusing on taxes you know and they are planning to increase the tax they are planning to increase the amount which people are paying for the the, the government that's all they are doing and they are not planning and putting the axe on to grow the opportunities all right and the population is not like five years ago it's increased maybe it was increased uh, more than 10 million all right 10 or 20 i don't know the exact data but it's really increased and uh, they are keep bringing the immigrants all right as students and i can guarantee you guys if they stop bringing the immigrants Canadian colleges universities will be gonna empty all right there will be no student at all they keep bringing the students just to do the business and most of the private colleges they are not provide, providing the well education which supposed to be provided by them uh, to the newcomers all right they are not giving the well education we supposed to you know given to those students who are coming and paying too much money to you know get their degree over here canadian are paying only four thousand dollar to get that degree and the foreign students are paying more than twenty thousand dollar to get the same degrees you see and still they are not getting the well education which supposed to get you know and this is the huge problem and they are not concerning about it they are just keep bringing the people but they are not you know 
growing the opportunities they are not helping the people who are already here and struggling to you know hold their business in a business market so they have to focus to to to, to you know grow the opportunities as well and they have to focus on those people who are coming here and want to do something by their own the government should help them as well to establish the businesses and when they are able to establish the businesses they will be able to you know create the job you know and which will gonna help the Canadian as well and they, it's gonna help the immigrants as well and they should focus on you know growing the opportunities as well not only the growing the population all right so this is the main problem over here government are not focusing on on each and every sector and they are not focusing on to grow the opportunities to help the small business small business owners to uh, to build the industrial zone to build the new sectors and uh, to build the establishment which will help to create the opportunities they are not doing anything at all for those sector maybe they are doing little bit but it's not enough it's not enough yeah talking is too easy all right and doing the action is is a bit difficult and they are spending billions of billions of dollars in nonsense and they are not spending those money to you know uh, to grow the opportunities that we that our society needs right now and they have to focus on those sector which is going to help people life to grow people to grow who is going to you know uh, help each and everything and salary concerning the salary the salary is not increasing as at all i have seen the people who are working in the same salary from five seven years guys and salary is not increasing at all they should have some kind of a mechanism or some kind of a rules to each and every you know business owners about the salary increasement as well i have seen few of the canadian are working in the same salary from more than seven years all right and you may able to you know see their struggle the life seven years ago is different and now the life here in toronto is different how they're gonna sustain with the same salary which they are you know uh, receiving from seven years ago guys it's 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 it's, it's totally worthless all right it's it's really worthless i don't know how they are surviving and this is the really damaging situation over here the government and the leaders or the the organization who is looking after these businesses or the policies <laughs> they have to you know make certain rules for a salary increment as well the grocery the living expenses is growing day by day but the salary it's not increasing at all they are increasing 20 cent 30 cent per per year and how it's gonna help if we look after something two years back it was like ten dollars now it's it's cost twenty dollars and salary increase only 20 cent per hour per year in per hour basis all right and how it's gonna help the people all right how it's gonna help the people three years back if i need to buy something uh, it will cost me around ten dollars and now it will cost me around twenty dollars and my salary is increased only 20 cent how it's gonna help me the most important things thing for the country is the people all right if people are not happy there will be no country at all if there will be no people there will be no country if there will be no canadian no people like us there will be no country at all all right and we need to concern we need to do something about and we need to do something for this all the sector all right and before happening the chaos you know we have to prevent all the situation we have to you know 
make sure there will be not chaos in the future if something will happen like this and it will continue to grow there will be chaos guys there will be civil war kind of a thing the people will come uh, you know out of the house and break and broke each and every window is supposed to be broke I don't know you know and we have seen such as things in different country which is suffering and which is you know suffering from same kind of a situation you know people will be mad they will they will they will lose their consciousness all right if something will be happen like this for a long if if this situation will be you know not uh, in a control and if our leaders will not gonna help the people to you know uh, sustain their life and build their life the situation will be really really chaos in the future all right so at least we have to try to you know boost each and everything boosting and concerning only one sector will not gonna help like they are only focusing on real estate over here it's not gonna help for all Canadians all right we have to focus on each and everything we have to do a bit things for each and everything all right only doing something for one specific sector will not gonna help not gonna help at all so that's all for now guys that's all for now and I don't have a voting right you guys all can have a voting right so choose your leaders which is working for the people not working for themselves or their pocket all right just you have to select those people who are working for the people all right and and yeah that's all for now we're gonna see you in next video guys till then keep living keep living all right that's all and keep subscribing do subscribe guys subscribe the channel and hit the like button if you have something do comment guys keep living see you